Hi, this is uh, Professor Wilbur. I'm showing you how to convert an app that uses TinyDB, like a local device database, to a web database. And so far, all I've done is I'm storing right now both to the device and to a tiny WebDB that gets the thing on the web. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to retrieve the data um, from the tiny WebDB. Okay, it's a little trickier than with TinyDB. You notice in TinyDB, you know, when the app starts, we can go get the data and stick it in a list. Um, and we can just do that all within screen initialize. Okay? With TinyWebDB, you don't really get a value immediately. All you can do is request it. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So TinyWebDB, I do have a get value block. But notice it's different than the TinyDB block. It's got, you know, nothing that can go in a slot. And the reason is because with the web, you request it. And then you got to wait, and eventually it comes back, and then you've got an event to, to handle that. Okay? So I'm going to kind of take these blocks out, and I'm going to keep them around just to look at. And I'm going to call get value. I want my same tag. Okay, we still want to get the, the thing called with tag notes. Okay? But that's all. Sorry, I'm actually going to take out this whole if statement as well. Let's get it back to how it was. So all screen initialize is going to do is, hey, give me some web data. Okay, let me kind of move this submit as well. Okay, so tiny WebDB, I want some data with the tag notes. Okay, then I need to add a got value event handler. And got values basically gets triggered when this request goes to the web, the web sends the data back. When that data arrives, this guy gets triggered. So we kind of want to do the same thing we were doing in screen initialize, but do it here. And of course, we've got to get rid of these get tiny get values. Okay, and it's a little different because we don't put the tag in anymore. We we know the data coming back is our actual note list, and it's going to come back in this parameter called value from WebDB. So I'm going to go to my definitions. And I'm going to grab a reference to that. I'm going to ask if that's a list. Okay. I want to make sure it's not empty, right, the first time I run my app. And I'll grab another reference. So, so if the data that arrived is, in fact, my note list, it's not empty, stick it in my note list variable, and then display the whole thing. Okay, let's see if, see if this is still working for us. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put in a new note. That's yeah, my fourth node. I'll just submit it. Okay, and let's just kind of make sure we can see everything. It's it's showing up, so I think everything's everything's fine. Um, if I close the app, so let's reconnect here. Okay, this should cause a, the get value to occur again, and it should go to the web to go get the data. So my emulator should come up and show those four items, and of course those four items are no longer stored on the device, they're stored on the web someplace. And remember what's happening right now, this, this is going to take a little bit, so let me go ahead and show you the, the see if the data is actually there. So if I go back to the tiny WebDB page called get value, okay, and I put in notes, I should see my four notes. Okay, I'm just chilling, I'm playing basketball, my new note, and my fourth note. Okay, perfect. So things are getting stored correctly, and if this emulator comes up with the four notes, then I'll know it's it's grabbing the stuff correctly. Boom, there it is. And you saw there was a slight delay, right? Because on screen initialize, it's making the request, you know, maybe a microsecond or some half a second goes by, and then finally it brings up brings up my notes. Okay, so a couple couple quick things. One, uh, this should be allow two phones to to talk, and it will to an extent. Right. Um, if you run this app on two different phones, um, if one person runs the app, stores a bunch of stuff, and then the second person opens their app and looks at it, they'll see all the notes from the first person, um, and vice versa. The problem, though, is if there's two phones open, they both open up the notes uh, in screen initialize, right? And then they start adding stuff. You're going to lose some data. Okay, because they're not reloading the data each time.